Hello friends, today we are going to study about electrostatic interaction. It is also known as salt bridge or ionic interaction. So electrostatic interaction is the interaction between oppositely charged ions. The force or the energy can be calculated using the formula. For force, the formula is K Q1 Q2 upon R squared D. For energy, the formula is E is equals to K Q1 Q2 upon R D. As because force or the energy is inversely proportional to D. D means dielectric constant. About dielectric constant and also about these formulas, we already studied in the video of ionic bonds. I have provided the link at the end of this video for those who have not seen the video. So D is dielectric constant as because we can see from the formula that force as well as the energy is inversely proportional to D. Therefore, as the D increases, the force or energy will decrease. Correct. So for electrostatic interaction, as the D increases, the force or energy or we can say the strength of the bond will decrease. As because we are studying the interactions in the biological system. So biological system consists of aquatic condition. That means for D, the value will become 80 because dielectric constant of water is 80 and we are studying the interactions in the biological system. So D we will consider as 80. So this bond is a weak bond in biological system. The bond energy is 3 to 5 kilocalorie per mole. But this bond will become strong in case of non-polar condition and where we can find these non-polar condition in the biological system. For example, lipid bilayer. Correct. Any cell consists of a plasma membrane or any cell organelles is consists of a membrane. That membrane consists of a lipid bilayer. This we will study when we will study the cell biology. So in these non-polar conditions, the electrostatic force will be more. These type of force can be repulsive or attractive depending upon the charges present on the ions. If the charges are same, like if both are positive or both are negative, then the force will be repulsive in nature. If they are of opposite charges, one positive, one negative, then the force will be attractive in nature. The example of attractive electrostatic forces in biological system, the first one is attraction between peripheral protein and membrane. This I already told you like membrane means it is a lipid bilayer. So lipid means non-polar environmental condition. So the protein reacts with these lipids with the help of a electrostatic interaction. Next is attraction between DNA and histone protein. The charge present in DNA is negative. The charge present in histone is positive. So one is negative, another one is positive. So these are the examples of attractive electrostatic forces in the biological system. What are the repulsive electrostatic forces in the biological system? In the DNA only, if this is DNA, then here one nucleotide is present, here second nucleotide is present like this. In the Second strand also one nucleotide, second nucleotide like this it is present. So nucleotides are connected with phosphodiester bond. So here one phosphate, here one phosphate, here also phosphate. So these phosphate both are negatively charged. So they will repel each other. So this is the example of repulsive electrostatic forces. Repulsive electrostatic forces can also be seen in the proteins like if the protein is folded in such a way that the positively charged amino acid is in front of another positively charged amino acid, they will repel each other. If negatively charged amino acid comes in front of another negative charged amino acid, they will repel each other. So if these type of situation arises, then in protein also we can see repulsive electrostatic forces. Clear? So attractive electrostatic forces we can found between peripheral protein and membrane between DNA and histone and repulsive electrostatic forces we can see in a DNA itself because phosphate is present which is negatively charged so both negative negative will repulse each other they will have a tendency to repel each other and these type of situation can also arise when the protein fold in such a way that one positively charged amino acid comes in front of another positive charged amino acid or negatively charged amino acid comes in front of another negative charged amino acid. Now, what are the factors that affects the strength of electrostatic interaction? First, we already 
learned just now that is dielectric constant as because strength is inversely proportional to dielectric constant therefore as the d increases the strength will decrease if the d decreases the strength will increase next is salt concentration how it affects more the salt less the electrostatic interaction why so because salt always have a shielding effect here in the graph what is here temperature tm tm means melting temperature melting temperature means the temperature at which the dna will melt 50% of the dna will melt correct double stranded dna will convert into single stranded dna now what the graph is saying like as we increase the salt concentration say for example here the temperature is 20 degree centigrade here the temperature is 40 degree centigrade here the temperature is 60 degree centigrade so the same dna which used to melt at 20 degree centigrade when we add salt and increase its concentration it is now melting at 40 degree centigrade if we are increasing more salt it is now melting at 60 degree centigrade that means what more heat is required to break the dna that means dna became more stable correct so what the salt concentration is doing it is making the dna more stable correct why because they have a shielding effect like i told you if it is a dna here also one phosphate present here also one phosphate present here also one phosphate present so this is also negative charge this is also negative charge this is also negative charge they have a tendency to repel each other but if we add any salt in it for example nacl so na plus so it will shield it here one na plus bind it will shield it so now the repulsion is not there so because repulsion is not there it became more stable when the repulsion is already there it is easy to break when the repulsion is not there so it became more stable so as we increase the salt concentration the electrostatic will become electrostatic interaction will become less correct so now it's a very small topic so the question from my end for you all is which of the following bonds will provide more stability to a biomolecule if the environment is non-polar in nature is it a van der Waal interaction it is a hydrogen bonding is it a salt bridge or hydrophobic interaction do write in the comment section if you found the video informative please do like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the next video notification till then stay safe stay happy